good evening everybody welcome to the channels check this out so i actually have here something i never thought i would uh see for a motorcycle before um actually for a motorcycle you could use it on dual sport i'm using this on my honda shadow you could use even even use this in your vehicle so this right here is the autocast light c5 motorcycle apple carplay or android auto um, you can take this thing and put it in your car. You can put this on your motorcycle, scooter. You can even put this on a bicycle. Whatever you got that you can plug into USB or it actually comes with the stuff to hardwire it. Uh, where you can have it hardwired uh, if you want to leave it permanent. Uh, right now we're just going to use it on USB to try it out. But very cool. This thing will give us Apple CarPlay to where I can use Google Maps or my Apple Maps off my phone. Uh, I can use my music off my phone. And all kinds of stuff on my motorcycle. I uh, plan on using this on the Honda Shadow. I think this would be pretty cool. So it does come with a mount, which is like a one inch ram ball mount that comes with this style mount with the U bolt clamps that you can mount it. Uh, it comes with the the short swivel to so swivel on here. Or it also comes with this style. You can put this on your mirror probably or on your handlebar clamp mount. So right now we just have the USB plugged in. This thing just threads in like so. You can see the one inch ball back here. So basically we just have this clamp and this will clamp onto the handlebars or this style, whatever you use. I actually already have one of these on my Honda Shadow that I'll be using and I won't have to be using this right now. When I, if I decide to mount it permanently, then I will. But it just comes with this watertight connector right here threads on you can see you can take this one off you see the o-ring seal and if you want you can actually put in the hardwire adapter and basically all it is is 12 volt so you have a positive and negative connect that to your battery or to a keyed switch is what you would want to do and thread this one on and use it but for right now like i say we're just going to use this one so this is notched thread this on like so this thing actually does come unclipped off here there's a power button right here on top so if you take this little threaded part here this is just to make it a little harder to steal if somebody wanted to steal it it don't just unclip off there and we push down on that you can actually clip this unit right out you can see the gold contacts here there's a speaker right here on this side it does come with a phillips screwdriver and you can take this out and put in the sd card it takes a micro sd card and you can also plug in this OTG cable right here. But we're not going to use all that right now. We just want to get this thing on the bike, try it out. So I'm going to snap this back in, lock it in, take our lock here and tighten it down. So on the back here, it also does come with a stylus. It just pushes down into a little notch right here. And then you can use the stylus. I'm not much of a stylus user. It should work good with uh, touch. It's touch screen. And we might have touch gloves, so it should be fine anyway. But if you wanted to, you could use a stylus. And of course, we have the power button right here to turn it on. So we should just be able to take this thing, plug it into our portable power station for now. Plug it into USB. And it should power up. As you can see, this is kind of a strange motorcycle. It's a, it looks like a adventure bike. It'd be nice if you could change that. I'm not sure if you can change that uh, to a different style bike or a different startup screen. But we're loading here. It's already connected to my phone. I already opened this up and connected to my phone. So it should connect pretty easy. Uh, but this is the main screen. And there it automatically, without touching anything, it went ahead and started into Apple CarPlay. So uh, what you're seeing is what's on my phone. It's actually really responsive. Nice and responsive slide back and forth when we go this way it shows our map and it shows some of our stuff like our music over here we could play to play our music and it's going to come out the speakers i don't want to get a copyright thing so i don't want to play that very long but uh plays the music out the speaker on this on this side we have some of our recently used icons we have our battery indicator it shows that we're connected to our phone shows our time right there 442 if we click on this one right here it brings up our regular screen. Click this one again. We go back to that. Like so. So if we slide this over. You can see all of our 
apps. So if I wanted to click on Google Maps, just like show, shows my location. Uh, we can actually zoom out. So we can click on this button right here. And then we can actually zoom out. It's probably not loading very fast as far as signal right here where I'm at. But it does work really good. We're going to put this on the motorcycle and try it out. Let's go back to our main screen right here. We can click on our calendar, show our calendar of events. We can click on our settings, which this is the settings on our phone. Hopefully you can see this screen all right if I'm getting it tilted just right. Uh, driving focus, announce message, appearance. So we can change uh, the appearance from dark. If you want it dark, always show dark maps. If you wanted dark maps instead of light maps, especially at night, you would definitely want that on. But if you put it on automatic, then it's going to show light colors like this during the day, and then it's going to show dark at night. I like it always on dark. I just don't want dark maps unless it's nighttime. Click on the settings button back here. Then we can go to our wallpaper, and we can change. This is wallpapers on the phone that we can choose. So we can choose one of these, changes our background wallpaper. And if we want it, we just click set. If we don't, we can look through the other ones on here. I just had it on black, but we can leave it on that one for now. Choose more of a red one here. Click set. And now when we go back on here, there's our wallpaper. So I got the Scenic app on here. Uh, scanner, radio, iHeart. So I can click on iHeart right here and listen to iHeart music. And works really good too. iHeart 80s right there. We're playing the iHeartRadio. Radio. Let's stop for now. Talks about measurement. Go back. Uh, but you can see on here radio, podcast, playlist, everything on iHeart, your recents, just like you normally would. And you can see my recents have changed. This is the recent apps that I have opened. Click back on this, goes back to our main screen. So on my main home screen right here, you can see that I've got my podcasts, audiobooks I can go to. Click on audiobooks. I can listen to any of the audiobooks I have on here, which is uh, Duck Dynasty Guys. Click back on this. Um, we can click on messages. Shows all of our text messages right there. And you can actually text through this. Send text because it's using it through your phone. Uh, phone calls. It's going to show you your favorites. If you have any favorites, I don't have any. Recent phone calls you can see here. Contacts. Shows all of our contacts. If you want to go through your contacts and call somebody, there's your keypad. Dial in your key and hit it. You can click on voicemail. Shows all of your voicemails. So, very cool. It actually shows all pretty much all the stuff on your phone. There's some stuff that Apple won't allow you to use on CarPlay, and that's because they don't want you fiddling with a lot of stuff like YouTube videos while you're riding down the road or driving. So that's not actually on there. But some people have a way that you can download something and use YouTube videos on CarPlay. I'm not sure exactly how they do it yet, but they do. Uh, so if we want to go to our car home, which is the unit itself, there's the settings for it. We can click on CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, our micro SD. I don't have one in it right now. Um, this e emit Bluetooth, so that if you push this right here, this is going to turn it on and I can actually sync this to my Cine headset or to, you can sync this to like your Apple AirPods. I click on settings right here. This is all the settings in this unit, not the settings on your phone. So you have the system settings, Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the display. And on the display on this one, there's actually different backgrounds. Uh, sound effects. We click on sound. You can see our volume, 25%, 26%, master volume. So we can turn our volume up and down right here. Depending on how loud we want that, we'll turn it up a little bit for now. Click the back button. Up here at the top, we can actually change the brightness. If we click on this little thing right here, we can change it to night, which it kind of dims a little bit, or day. And that would just kind of go into a night mode, into a day mode. If we click on this, this is our speaker. So that's just a quick access right up here. Click back, back, get out of here. Uh, we click on display right here and display settings. 
the backlight level for day and the backlight level for night. You can change both of those. So backlight during the day, we definitely want that bright. Turn it up where you can see it good. Display settings here. Brightness, contrast, saturation. And you can reset everything to default. Click on this home button, goes right back to our home. And now we want to go back into Apple CarPlay. Just click that. We're back into Apple CarPlay. So this thing seems to work really smooth and really fluent. I'm going to stick this on the bike, see what it looks like, and see how the maps shows up. That's my main goal is being able to use the maps, the phone, and the messages. And I think it's going to work really good. Okay, guys. So let's try this thing out. So it should be... I'm going to turn my key on. It should come on. And it does. See the adventure bike on there? So let's take this thing up the road and try it out. It should be connecting to CarPlay here pretty quick. There it's connected. So it don't take too long to connect. It actually connects pretty fast. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this on Maps. This is uh, Apple Maps. I like Google Maps a little better. We'll just leave it on Apple Maps, I guess, see what it does. Got to get a uh, signal here, maybe. Pull out of the garage. Oh, now we got maps coming up. Hopefully you guys can see that. There's going to be a lot of glare, I'm sure, because it's sunny today. There's not a lot I can do about it. Maybe if I tilt this thing down some. So it does kind of have a sun hood over the top here to help a little bit with the sun. We'll see. Let's go ahead and see. I can use my gloves, too. Let's go ahead and put this on Google Maps. I like Google Maps better. Over on Google Maps. And I can actually go on Google Maps and I can search for a place. See, there's route options, map colors, satellite map. Uh, put it on whatever, north up. Change my volume on here, traffic reports. Everything, just the same thing basically that's on my phone. And we're just going to ride up the road and make sure that our GPS tracks okay. It does show my location. And there's that sign I was talking about. So, very simple how I got it mounted. I just got it, uh, used the ram mount. I got actually my ram claw clamped on right here right now. And then if I decide I want to keep it on here permanent, I'll use that mount to come with it. Mount it here solid. I also have another ram mount here. I could put it on and angle it to the side. But I like it in the center like that. So we're going to see how that works out. So there it's tracking. It's going the right direction. You guys, I'm sure, are not going to be able to see this. One thing about maps is, even on my phone or whatever, it always shows the light background like this, and it shows the roads to be light, too. And I don't like that. I like the roads to be... They should make the roads dark with the background light. I mean, it's really actually hard to see them, even on my phone. Which, this is basically the same thing as my phone. So it is tracking right up the road. The GPS is working good. And like if I wanted to make a phone call, I could tap on that right there. And I could go to my contacts. And then I could call my wife. Or you can even ask Siri because it's connected to my Cine headset right now. Or even if I wasn't connected to my Cine headset, Siri will still work through that through your phone. So... You can ask Siri to make a call by clicking on that. You go like this, it's going to bring up. You can see Siri come up right down there. So if I said, uh, ask her to make a phone call, she's going to do it. So everything, as far as I can tell, actually works pretty good. I'm actually impressed with this little thing. I like it uh, to have Apple CarPlay on the motorcycle. And one cool thing is, like my Jeep Gladiator, mine don't have Apple CarPlay. So I could actually stick this, I have a ram mounts on my dash. I could stick this thing in my Jeep or in my Ford Ranger and have Apple CarPlay wherever I go. Uh, if I just use the USB, so you could have it hardwired to your bike or just use the USB. 
and then just take and unplug it and use a USB, plug it into your vehicle, and have Apple CarPlay. So this is Apple CarPlay for your automobile, your motorcycle, anything. And this thing is waterproof, so it don't matter. You can take if it pour down rain, it's good to go. Uh, it's not going to hurt it one bit to get wet. It's actually pretty rugged. The build quality seems like it's really good on this thing. Watch for debris in the road. Let's try it back on uh, Google Maps here. I wish you guys could see it better. I know you can't, but it is working good. I, you just have to trust me on that. The, the maps is showing up good, showing all the roads. So, pretty darn impressive. It tells me the direction we're going, which is east. And because I have it hooked on here when I do directions to somewhere, I have it hooked to my Senna. So, I, I paired this actually to my Senna. You get on here and you can pair where I showed you the emit Bluetooth, and you can actually pair it to your Senna. So when I did that, I can actually hear it through my Senna. You guys won't hear it on here, but I can hear it. If I have navigation, it's going to give me turn-by-turn -turn directions come through my Senna. If you didn't have a Senna, you can hear it through that. Of course, with the wind noise on a motorcycle, it's probably not going to hear it real good because it probably wouldn't be loud enough. But you can still see the turn-by-turn -turn directions on your screen. So we're going to turn around here. Just wanted to take you up the road and show you a little bit. Let me pull down here in this shade right here. I can click on search and then I can search for a place. So if I want to click on home like that, then it's going to take me and give me the route to my house. So you can see the route on here. Shows me I'm only seven minutes away from the house, 3.5 miles. Tells me over my arrival time. And when I click start, it, let's see, I can hear the directions. You guys can't, but it's going to show me the directions to the house turn by turn. Super cool. Let's turn this rig around. Just give me 40 acres. And get out of this guy's way. So now I'm having turn-by-turn -turn directions to my house. How cool is that? Now I have the uh, Garmin Zumo, and the Zumo works great on the Honda CRF300L, but the Garmin Zumo, for some reason on this bike, there's something that interferes with it, and the, it does not pick up satellites. It's, it's all over the place. Not very good at all. But with this, then I have my GPS and everything. I can use it with my phone connected and have GPS wherever I go anyhow. So this is a great option for me. For the street bike and to have Apple CarPlay I mean, pretty cool you can turn off the sound here uh, change your route you can do all kinds of things just pretty much like you could on your phone if I get a text message it will pop up on the screen showing my text message or a phone call pops up on the screen very cool so I mean actually for what these things cost it's actually impressive I'm impressed with it it's really a great deal. And I thank you guys for watching. Now, I will post a link below where you can check out this Otocast Lite C5. So uh, check it out on Amazon. And thank you all for watching my videos. Click the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Right on.